Death went walking through the woods one chilly autumn evening. It had been a long day. Sickness ravaged this part of the world, and no man, woman, or child remained untouched by it. It was a child Death made his way to collect now, a little girl by the name of Elsie Pippet. Death found the girl sitting alone in a pile of fallen leaves, humming and whispering happy nonsense. Anticipating surprise and terrified tears, he approached her carefully. But there was none of that from little Elsie. She simply turned her pale face to him and smiled. Then she pulled a bright red leaf from her pile and held it out. It was only a leaf, just a dried-up crinkly thing from the dirt. But the kindness with which the child offered it to him was so innocent and genuine that it broke Death's heart to think of what he was there to do. Until now, he had not been aware that he even possessed a heart. Thank you, Death said quietly. He took the leaf inside his cloak, where it promptly dissolved into nothingness. Where are your parents, child? Death asked the girl, for he occasionally, when time allowed, gave the little ones a final moment with their families. Elsie furrowed her brow. Mmm, was all she said, but it was enough to tell the reaper what the girl was too young to articulate. Oh, yes, Death said distractedly. I had forgotten. Elsie blinked up at him and smiled helplessly. Then she coughed, an awful rattling cough, and Death remembered that he had work to do. He put all of the thoughts out of his mind, lifted his great scythe over his head, and found he couldn't. He just couldn't. Not like this. Perhaps I'm getting old, he thought. He sighed and knelt down beside the girl. Would you like to be my helper? Death asked her. Elsie thought for a moment, and then nodded. All right, said Death, rising to his feet. But first, you have to close your eyes. This next part Death did not like so much. But the long list was not to be altered, this he knew. When the job was done, he strapped the blade on his back again, and held out a bony hand into which slipped a very tiny ghostly one. Do you like elephants? Death asked his new companion as they walked. Next we go to the circus. I'm afraid someone has had a very bad day. Elephant sad? I expect so, little miss, but not much longer. It was only for a little while, Death told himself. He would take her across the divide soon enough. But his business was the loneliest sort, and it was nice to have a friend just this once. Surely no one would fault him for that.'